Hello everybody, I'm Big Tick, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to Skyrim! We're gonna jump straight into it and talk with Esburn. Sure is, buddy. Don't you worry about that. Uh, what do we actually want to say? That's what everyone keeps telling me. There is hope, after all. For so long, all I could do was watch our doom approach. Don't you remember? Doom? What? You mean the return of the dragons? Bah, they can be killed. The blades killed many in their early days as dragon slayers. No. Dragons are merely the final portent of the end of men. That sounds kind of, uh, terrible. Oh, yes. The prophecies make clear the signs that will precede the end of us. One by one, I've seen them fulfilled. Aldrin has returned, just like the prophecy said. The dragon from dawn of time who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger. Here or in the afterlife, Alduin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Uh, that's, um, that's kind of a pessimistic outlook that you got, you know, got going on, buddy. I'm the Dragonborn. Don't you worry. I forget myself. I've lived without hope for so long. The prophecies are clear. Only the Dragonborn can stop Alduin. We must go quickly now. Take me to Delphi. We have much to discuss. Wonderful. Uh, so I'm assuming he's going to get all his gear and hopefully become like an absolute beast tank guy, maybe. Uh, let's go and read some of these. Hopefully get a level up. No. Uh, read Lost Legends. Nope. Oh, that was a quest. God damn it. Oh, I hate when that happens. Um, is there any... Okay, there are some more books here. None of those seem like they're actually going to be useful. Book of Daedra? No, no, never mind. I just want to read a book that, you know, gives me a level or something or something like that. Um, nothing in there, right? No. There was a dagger. Iron dagger of burning. We might as well take that while we're here. Search the chest for... Yep, I'll, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, and the dresser, we have got a hat and some miner's clothes. You did not put on a bunch of gear and become super beastly, which is what I was really hoping. That's, uh, that's okay. That's fine. Let's make sure that we don't have anything marked. You know, we don't want that one or that one or anything. We just want Alduin's wall. Escort Esburn to Riverwood. Right. We can do that. Let's, um, open the door. Oops, not first person, sorry. R. Want to get the uh, the old bow out and make sure that I can. Oh, come on! Hey, stop shooting me! Oh, he decided to run away. Good idea. You know what? There we go. <laughs> you thought you were hiding. Uh, Garnet, yes, sir. Is note gold, luring, salmon poison, some mead. Ah, uh, we don't really need that. Weak poison, iron arrow, take all of that. That sounds sounds nice. Good, good wee bit of loot. Get out of my way, buddy. Get out of my way. Thank you. So you're a mage. That's actually going to be quite handy. Uh, I did just then get uh, Gisser's note. Let's read that. Kaljit female believed to go by Beatrice. Hey, that's me. Maybe an alias. That's eh, not. It's my name. Uh, likely to be inquiring about Esburn and the Ratway. Do not approach. Inform your assigned contact immediately if spotted. Huh. Well, that's me. That's definitely me. I am going to keep my bow out. Oh, what the? Oh, there they are. Uh, right. Yeah, go away. Uh, shoot you while you're on the ground. Oh, that's not ideal. Oh my god, he summoned a, a fire. Uh, what should we call it? Fire... Element. Whoa. Damn, that is one hell of a powerful wizard we got on my side there. Not going to complain about that at all. That was fantastic. 
You just blew that guy way off. I like this. I like this guy. When I said, oh, he's going to turn into a powerful beast. I was right. Uh, Thelma Wizard is disappeared. Right. Let's, uh, let's go through here then into the right way vault. I like having him around. Can I keep him? Probably not. I'm assuming he disappeared at some point. But I would love to keep him around. Because did you see the way he just like cast that fireball and just flung the guy completely off? That was great. And he's got this little fire elemental over here. Oi. Thank you. I was going to say he's got this little fire elemental. Fire elemental. Gone. Uh, well, I guess I have to go this way. Uh, and then through here. I was trying to see if there was any other way. But no, this appears to be pretty one-dimensional in terms of where I can actually go. That's fine. Fairly linear path to take. Go up the stairs, around the around this way, up onto the top section, and then we should, at some point, be able to cross the old bridge uh, that we lowered earlier. This is we're now on top of where we came out. I'm assuming that bridge that we lowered is somewhere around here. Uh, maybe through here. I am officially lost at this point. I genuinely am not entirely sure where I am. That's okay. I'm assuming if I just keep following this around, I'll eventually find the exit. We are climbing. That's that's a good sign, I guess. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just keep following along here. I feel pretty safe with my uh, my wonderful wizard friend helping out. A uh, little bit of a trap there that I must have set off previously. Uh, and there's the doorway. Right. Okie dokie. Here's some people that I've killed previously. <laughs> Oh, I do like the fact that bodies stay, you know, lying around. Ah, <sighs> but we have managed to successfully make it out. We can now put the bow away and uh, get out of here. I don't want to deal with the uh, Thieves Guild side quest. So we're just going to bypass this place entirely and head on back to the Ratway. Ah, oh, the Ratway. That's, that's where the lowered bridge is. That's right. Anyway. Oh. No. Come on. Get. Oi. Ow. Get. There we go. Uh, and there's a wizard over here. Um. That's. Not ideal. Shivari, can you. Look, we're both Khajiits. Can you just stop it, please? Thank you. Oh. This. Officially. Sucks. This. Is. Terrible. Come on. There we go. Come on. Ah, oh, I can't. Come on. Right. Is that everyone? I feel like that's everyone. Should we search these guys? Get a little bit of, little bit of gold off of them? No, not talk. Loot. Loot, loot, loot. Take some arrows. Uh, go to the wizard. You don't have anything. Yeah, Isburn's Flame Atronarch. That's the one. I call them elementals, but they are, in fact, Atro... Atronarx. Uh, here we go. Here's that lowered bridge I was talking about. I know it was around here somewhere. I should probably... Thinking about it, I should probably heal up. Do I have any health? Uh, that increases it. I want minor healing. That's what I want. There we go. That should, that should help us out just a little bit. Again, some more dead bodies that we've killed earlier. I'm assuming I've already looted them for, for gold and the like. Let's just double check. Yep. No gold on them. I must have done that previously. Right. Out into Riften. Magic weapons lose power with each successful hit. But can be recharged with soul gems. Yes, they can. Uh, here is Lydia as well. Right, Lydia. Uh, follow me. Right, so we're now going to have Lydia and Esburn. Fantastic. So we've got an archer. That's me. We've got a, a, a warrior, a swordsman. That's Lydia. And a mage. That's Esburn. Fantastic. We've got ourselves the start of a, uh, a wee Dungeons and Dragons party going on. That's fun times. Hopefully they are keeping up. Yeah, Esburn's a little bit behind, but that's okay. I'll just power my way through and I'll eventually get to the gate and they'll just magically catch up because that's how video games work. Ha. <sighs> I wish this, I wish things like Baldur's Gate 
had been sort of like this. I didn't have to micromanage my my fellow party members where I just sort of got to play as myself and they just did the things that they needed to do. Like, when I play a role-playing game, I want to role-play as me. I don't want to have to be worrying about what, you know, five other characters are doing. I just want to, I just want to do me. Uh, let's use the carriage here to get to Riverwood. Go ahead and use this and hopefully... Oh, we... <laughs> it might help if we tell the driver where we want to go to first, before just jumping in. Uh, right, talk to this guy. Hi, your carriage. Yep, yep, thank you. To Riverwood. Which I can't get to, which is fine, but I can go to White Run, and and we'll Which is the closest town. And then we can go ahead and use the carriage. There we go. 20 gold! Which I just looted off of a dead body, so... There you go, have the blood-stained gold. That's fine. Ah, <sighs> Right. So now, we're in White Run. We need to go to Riverwood, which is off this way. I think I need to put some points into my, my movement speed, because I am wearing heavy armor, which is intentional. I am a heavy armored ranger, but... I feel like I move a little bit slowly, like, especially cross-country. Obviously, I could, you know, get a horse. But that doesn't help with, you know, people like Lydia and Asburn. They don't have horses. And I like my friends. I want to be traveling with them. But I do feel like I should be just that little bit faster. Speed things up a little bit for you guys. Because at the moment, it's a little bit slow. And I feel like if I'm going to be doing the same paths over and over and over, I really want to get... A little bit faster movement speed so you guys aren't watching it you know an entire episode of me just trekking across the same bit that I've been before I'm gonna go ahead and get my bow out because I am traveling at night time uh, you know through the wilderness beelining it not even just not even following the path just just going for a straight beeline as you can see just just jumping up cliff faces jumping over rocks all sorts of crazy stuff not really paying attention to what's around me so I want to have my bow so I'm at least prepared. I may not be aware, but at least I'm prepared. Ah, I don't know where Lydia and Esbern have gone. I should probably wait for them to catch up, because if I do run into trouble... Oh, there they are. I was going to say, if I do run into trouble, I would like to have that back up. I feel safe with these two around, especially Esbern and his flame Atronarch. That was very useful. Uh, I feel like I would have died. Otherwise, in those kind of situations, I might have, might have survived, but it would have been a pretty risky sort of scenario that we would have got ourselves in there. Catch ourselves a, a fire bug, a, sorry, a torch bug, as they're called. Add the torch bug thorax to our inventory. I really do need to make sure I keep looting the surroundings, because that's where you sort of can, when you get ingredients, you're able to then, you know, make potions and poisons. Poisons, specifically. I don't care so much about potions. Poisons is what I want. I want to be able to damage people's stamina and the like with, you know, with shots. And just, you know, just shooting shooting people with a nice poisoned arrow sounds like a good thing. Oh, I could... Oh, I want to catch the bee. Come here. Bee. 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 No. There we go. Bee added. Lovely. Where's Esburn? Way back there. <laughs> I guess he is an old man, so he is, you know... He's gonna, he's gonna have to walk at some point. He's, he's, you know, old. He's running low on stamina. It's fine. Ha! Ah, right. We are almost there. So close. I do tend to make things take a little bit longer than they need to just by stopping and aimlessly talking about how old Isburn is. And other such useless, you know, tangents. But that's okay. I can go ahead and put my, my sword away now. And talk with... Delphine. Good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. Right, well, I'm going to end the episode there, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you 
in the next one.